So uh, today I'm going to be talking uh, about this notion of complexity that I've been uh, working uh, for the past two years when I quit Wolfram to start like, uh, working with this group at the uh, University of Minnesota. Uh, so uh, the, I would like to start with this uh, diagram that's like the roots of polynomials with coefficients 1 and minus 1 up to degree 23 that I plotted in Mathematica. So what you get is a picture by, like that, which is bounded in the disk uh, of our radius uh, 2. And I find it as a metaphor also for this quote from uh, William Thurston. Mathematics is a process of starting hard enough at the fog of confusion to eventually break through to improve clarity. I, yes, uh, I took this, this quote from Thurston from his profile at Math Overflow. He was a big user of that platform. And then he uh, was posting questions like this one, which uh, uh, made it uh, add eventually to a paper, uh, the last paper. You know, the entropy in dimension one, which was uh, about the core entropy of Julia sets in the real life of the particle set. But that, that's a, uh, like a different story. The thing is that six years ago, when he was doing that, I was at Heidelberg University and I was uh, playing with uh, these fractal trees. I was making an interactive website using the computational document format of Wolfram. And uh, one of the families for, for binary trees, when one you have like one branch and then the other one is like composite, 180 degrees, and then you're looking the parameters where the leaves, the canopy, it's connected. And for the ones that are connected, then this is part of the set. And actually, this set uh, matches the one uh, that the person was studying for the unit uh, disk. And, and now, like I was seeing like, six, uh, like two years ago, that the mathematical community in the collaborative dynamics was taking uh, uh, some interest in about these sets because of uh, William Thurston. But these sets have been studied like uh, Kevin Head and other people for like the past uh, 50 years. And, but there is a recent paper about, uh, with uh, Sarah Koch and Danny Caligari and other Walker about uh, the, the set of connectivity for this family of Zosner sets, where uh, they proved actually that uh, there is a really many holes uh, close to the boundary of this set, where, where the, the limit set that you get is a kind of like in the space, it's disconnected. So uh, I joined this group there to uh, uh, like uh, work on, on, on uh, like have more tools and, and, and the motivation to pay attention to my talk and understand uh, the is that now I have a better understanding of the internal structure of these sets uh, and uh, that's using this notion of a uh, uh, complex tree. So the, the basic idea is that you start with uh, like the geometric series, the, the, the visual representation of the geometric series is that each someone is, uh, is making this uh, uh, unary tree, it's like the one spiral thing. But then what when, will happen if you take like several complex numbers with modulus uh, smaller than one, and for example, C1, C2, C3, at least there is uh, complex uh, numbers in there. So you just like uh, start playing with the combinatorial of uh, possibilities of that. Like for example, you, you take like uh, yeah, C1, uh, C2, C2, or like C2 and then C, C1, that's this term in there. And you have to think that uh, actually, uh, because of complex numbers, the multiplication is computed. You have that actually these vectors are the, the they, they they have the same length and then the same direction, and uh, there is these other ones in there. But the idea is that when when you start like doing that, you end up with uh, limiting points of, uh, of a similar set. And uh, that's another example for these two values. Uh, uh, you get a binary complex tree with two complex numbers. So. And the idea is that you want all of the branches to be contracted, the small, like the modulus to be smaller than one. So the, you get like a, an alphabet, and then the alphabet is encoded by, by the symbolic uh, numbers, <coughs> which uh, have a complex value associated to it. Like one, it's, uh, it's going to be C1, and in this case, this example is for, for this complex number, and then C2, in two, like it's, it's another complex number in there. So that's like, you're going to take the letters from this alphabet, and then from that, uh, 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 from this letter, with, with these letters, you're going to construct a word, and then this word is projected by what they call the geometric uh, map, P. And like, as a second example, example two is just like one plus C2. P1 is just one plus C1. And then one one is like the geometric series of style. But then, for example, one one two is, uh, is uh, this uh, node thing there of the tree. And uh, the way that you have to think about it is that you take your, your, your word and then you multiply the terms like C1 by C1 by C2 and that's this little vector there. And then you, you chop the, the, like you remove the last uh, letter and then you have uh, to multiply it again like C1 by C1. That's this, this uh, vector in there. 
and then uh, you have uh, drop it again, and then it's uh, C1, and then uh, you drop it again, you end up with the empty string, and the empty string is always mapped at the root of the tree for, for all the entry keys. Now uh, you can like think about uh, what happens when we have an infinite sequence of letters, and that's for, uh, for instance, when it's finite, I call it all, all these points, uh, nodes of the tree, and uh, if it's infinite, then I call it uh, tip points of, the, of your like, complex tree. And an example is like the, uh, the Jimmy series, that's this dot in there. You can also have it for the C2 value, so that's the other one. And you see that you get a cross form. And then for, also, for example, if you take like C1, C2, C2, well, like the 1, 2, 1, 2, uh, you end up with this uh, expression that also have a cross form. So you, if your work is uh, periodic or eventually periodic, you can have a cross form for, as an expression. And, but the, the, so when you move all the, when you take only like the deep points, what you have is like the Salsinger set, that's it's obvious. Uh, but uh, here I'm calling the, the, the ones that are starting with the two, and the ones uh, are starting with one that are colored in black. And that satisfies the, the Kaczynstein equation, so the Salsingerity. And the maps that you are dealing with, is, this is a near pass of these two very simple linear maps. And what, for example, F2 is doing to your whole uh, deep set, is just like a, um, a screen down by, by, the, by the modulus of C2, and then a, a linear rotation for the, uh, the argument of this complex number, minus uh, 31, and in this case, uh, I add this uh, translation by one. So that's uh, the, you can do the same for the F1, but in this case, uh, for taking 63 degrees, and we, well, after applying these two functions, you end up with that. That's very territory, but I call these uh, previous uh, level pieces F1 and F2 in, in red. Because of self similarity, if you uh, can prove that these uh, two pieces are not intersecting, then the whole uh, deep set is uh, going to be kind of like one. So the key idea I had here is to have this deep, deep uh, gluing condition, and then uh, I was imposing these two uh, points to be connected, this pair of three points have to be connected, and that's when you get these uh, close forms. Uh, for, for this uh, deep point and then for the other ones as well. So here I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm imposing that they have to, have to be equal, they have to join, and these other ones, uh, they have to join as well. So you have a system of uh, two equations with uh, three complex and known variables, which actually, uh, it, gets, it gets reduced in mathematica uh, uh, by this parameterization of the C1, the, 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 the branch, uh, the back branch, has to be a parameter Z, and then C2 has to be always constant at one, one half, uh, plus one. And then C3 has to be a obvious transformation of the C1, one over four. So now with this, uh, uh, if we just like obtain the family of the many complex series, uh, that are the in this way, and if we keep this structure, then we know that at least the connectivity of the deep set detector is gonna be connected in these two points. It can happen that if you have more than one uh, of these, but for this value there, uh, you, you have only two. And these two, for like the second of, of the piece F1 and the F2 is, uh, is this point B that happens right there. And then for the F3, the blue and the, and the red one, you get this other point E. So we have these two uh, pair of uh, two tip equivalent relations, and that's what they call the topological set of your self similar set. And, and that's for this value that you got this, this condition in there. But uh, so I was saying that uh, I was calling them this, this kind of trees that are uh, actually stable in the sense that you can perturbate the value that you, you are starting with. And then uh, and, and notice that you are still like having only two points of contact, and, and that's what I call a uh, structurally stable tree. And the family that, uh, that we, we have is uh, defined for, for this parameter space where uh, it's continued in these angles, because you want uh, the branch T3, in order to be smaller than one, you have to have the C1 to be bigger than one fourth. So the family is defined in these angles, from one fourth uh, to one. That's the perimeter space, and uh, the example I was showing you is this point in, in white, and, uh, and now I'm just gonna um, uh, take different values of these values, you see that the geometry is starting to change, but the topology still uh, keeps uh, being the same. The logical uh, set doesn't change. I'm just going to move a bit uh, right, like, like left upper right. So yes, and then you get this this dot in there, 
because now we have an extra connectivity within the F1 and F3 in both, and that's uh, when your topological set has uh, changed. And when that happens, I call the, the perimeter point uh, as black. Uh, the way I am computing uh, like new dots is just by imposing uh, extra tip to tip uh, connectivity conditions. For example, this expression there it gives you this uh, uh, algebraic expression in terms of the new parametric alphabet. And then uh, this, this other tip point is uh, this other expression there, and actually this is like uh, finding the roots of a certain polynomial. And if you solve it, you take this, this number there, and that's in coin this three. And for the other ones, you have the same. So like this is like one 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 two, so it's one one two, and then going to the middle, and actually it's meeting these other branch paths, like two and then one one and then two. So uh, you get this polynomial, you solve the, you solve it, and then you have this. This is the square root of seven, and that's giving you this element. And the same for the other one. So you start like plot, plotting these dots, and I was crunching uh, uh, many solutions with Mathematica, and you, what you get is this map uh, to be to be like words of the length uh, fifteen, uh, and then appending the two 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 uh, equation. And the, the white region in there is where you have a structurally stable phase. And, and these two points, the uh, dots correspond to the uh, Sapinski triangle. And actually prove that it's uh, piecewise smooth. This is uh, set, uh, the boundary, where, where you are just like, just touching pieces. But uh, when you move away, it's going to have overlaps. Uh, and so it's, it's made up of like two style lines. Here it's a like Sapinski triangle when you start like moving down in this part. And then you have to switch to this algebraic curve. This way, and then it's a critical point that you have to, to move uh, again at minus one uh, eight. Uh, what about it? You have to switch to this uh, up right there. In there. So, I'm going to show you an animation starting with the Sapinski triangle that goes down and then switches up and goes back to this point. And here you see the, the pieces are just touching, and then uh, rotating there is a critical point, and uh, we're going into here, and it's like evolving a bit more. Now, uh, when you get this piece, the setting is that, and then a bit more until you get these tangential intersections, and that's when you are going up from this set. So, uh, the way to prove it, I'm not going to explain it here, but it's available in my master thesis I defended one year ago. Uh, it's, uh, it's very simple in the sense that this family is made up of uh, style lines in the, the outer uh, boundary, and that's why you, why, when you get uh, these uh, Australian curves in there. So another thing you have to, to see is that uh, I was proving only this part because actually uh, only half of the, of the analysis is necessary to prove it in the sense that when we are like sliding the, the black branch in the C2, uh, the C1, then the, the C3 is actually moving uh, the, the reverse way. So you was moving here and then the other one is moving uh, upwards in this region. So there is this uh, obvious transformation that simplifies uh, this is extra symmetry in there. So you can see that now we're moving the branch in there, and the, like the, the blue one is like uh, going to, to this part in there. And uh, C, C2 is always constant one half. So this T point there is always like pointing at, uh, at two in the, in the space. And then uh, you, you see this, uh, this symmetry is of the partition of the tangents in this case. So, um, it's interesting to find these uh, critical points when you have some algebraic numbers at the bound, and also right in the boundary and in the interior part, you you have that the, the symmetric dimension matches the Hausdorff dimension, and actually it's interesting to, to study the the the, 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 the big structures in the interior where, where you have to possibly cover one big uh, some similar sets, and then uh, apply analysis on them and then find some optimal uh, conditions. And there is uh, the maximal uh, uh, like uh, the higher dimension, uh, dimension that matches the, uh, the singular dimension is falling in, in this part in there that is the two maximal points. Another, thing, uh, another concept is the, what they call the connected trees, and that's why when you have that uh, there is a, like a tip point that lands at zero, if that, if that happens, then automatically you have that your tree is connected at, at one, in the sense that the three level pieces are intersecting uh, at, at one. When you just remove one, so like, mm, and out of that, I was like uh, finding a, a, like a subset of this connectivity, like the, the still unstable set, and and that's this map that you have there. 
Actually, this is a subset of the other one because uh, for the initial condition, we didn't have any kind of, uh, of uh, the tip point that go, uh, went to zero. But uh, when you're overlapping, then you can have some critical points. Uh, uh, this one is, is one uh, in there, where you have this uh, one, one, and then always two, it meets at zero. And, and then for this other one, it's also like if you're going this way, and then it ends up at this dot, uh, that's uh, zero. So uh, a natural question was to ask, what happens uh, if you, you get this map when you try to figure out which uh, trees are getting you uh, uh, a point at, at zero, uh, then if you change the, this lambda value for, for these equations, uh, instead of zero, uh, you take like one, for example. And because uh, I have this theorem that tells you that one is going to be also contained, it's going to look exactly the same. But now, if instead of using zero or one, you use other parameters. And in this case, I was uh, using uh, a lambda different from zero or one. And I'm going to show you the animation going to uh, this uh, point that uh, to the cycle, and then switching the real axis to the imaginary one, but that's more what you get more or less. Uh, and it's interesting because you, you get this asymptotic similarity when you get close to the, uh, to the points, so you pick an element, it's going to look like uh, what are you seeing right there. With this critical moment when they touch, it's when you have the Sapinski triangle. So uh, that was just one example for a family, but you can construct, for example, taking minus two, uh, uh, you have these uh, two better branch paths, and using the same logic, you have a system of three equations, so with, uh, well, of two equations with three non complex variables, which actually they can use, and it's very similar to the other one, but the only uh, what has changed is just this value of minus one half. And, uh, and in this case, uh, you get a, uh, uh, and not piecewise smooth boundary, now it's where it's half. And this is one piece that it is, that's uh, smooth. And that's one of the parts I'm working on uh, to show. But, but uh, here you also get some number points where we also make numbers uh, pop out. But in the figure, they are connected, but they are just like simply connected in the sense that you can access them. Uh, and there are no, no holes uh, for it. So that's uh, another example there. And uh, why it's, uh, we had before uh, this way smooth boundary is because fractals are rough in general. And uh, this, uh, when you're trying to combine the, the personal pieces, you have a lot of ins and outs. So you have to switch it uh, and find a lot of equations. But for this family with the Sapinski triangle, the external boundary is made up of the style lines. So when you're collecting the, the different pieces, then you, uh, this is just like getting you algebraic curves, because it's just like a sliding. For example, this piece is like a sliding around this edge in the, in the blue part until you get a digital point and then you have to switch to another other terms. I was uh, happy to find that uh, this, like these two elements are used as, as logos and now we have a family that, uh, related to them and this is like the logo of the students uh, of the Canadian so, uh, yeah, so, uh, and then uh, ARMS, uh, ARMS is also having this logo with the reliance of the Sapinski. So uh, I, I, that's almost an interesting like, funny thing to share. For one, one half, when you're putting the parameters at one half, you get uh, mirror symmetric uh, manipulis. And that's the type of uh, uh, system that I was studying six years ago. But now, I, with this notion of complex thing, <coughs> I'm able to, to break down uh, this mirror symmetry. I can just like move this way. And then this branch is going to be shrinking. That's uh, the one over four um, map, the obvious information. So you have to think that each piece I, I was de like defining uh, uh, six years ago, now you have to, like a mission like that, where you can like, explore it, and all of them are going to be uh, topologically homomorphic. So getting back to this map that I was showing you with before, in, the, in this uh, white uh, vision, you get a kind of light with connected uh, trees. And uh, I was taking one in, in the boundary, it's a, a typical X3 thing. But uh, I was <coughs> also looking at this map. So for the utilities, is where, where you have all the trees. Let's zoom in and I'm taking just for that element for this big dot. And the, the, the size of the dots are giving you the, are, the, are telling you that the degree of the polynomial uh, that you are like uh, solving, and the, like, this is like the root of the polynomial of the degree 3. It has uh, some, some 
like this is also a degree three polynomial, and from this one you get uh, this binary complexity, and uh, this is actually telling you the the, the the length of the work when they are like meeting from the other starting with a one and starting with a zero, and it's like a, it's a visual representation of the of the actual root, and, and in this case you get uh, a Rossi classical fractal, and the intersection is just uh, you, you, uh, by intersecting the, the two pieces, the two pieces, two pieces you get the uh, full deep uh, set and plus uh, two fractal curves. So actually, like uh, when you try to, to pull apart the, these, these two pieces of a plot, the, the first like uh, solutions are going to be uh, polynomials of the higher degree. And uh, yeah, so that's like the intersection between the next level pieces. And uh, I can even like uh, play with uh, the correlation theorem and then uh, actually like the branch paths is it's, it's important in the sense that this is gonna tell you like the, the, the function. So like in here it's like two, and then it's like so it's one, and then two. And that's like this piece in there. So that's like a function with F2, one, one, two. And then you have uh, uh, these other pieces. It's like uh, one and then two, two, two. That's uh, this piece in blue. And the same like the, the branch path is telling you how to define your functions in there. So it's one and then two, two, that's this piece in there. And that's gonna be uh, giving you this uh, a fractal curve that defines the boundary of this uh, overlapping V that's known as a cyclotropic polynomial. <coughs> so, uh, and why I'm like having these like uh, three structures that, that maps uh, this, this uh, map, the correct exclusive to the person one, is that uh, I'm, I'm having like a hierarchical uh, and solutions, and in this case, uh, this is like uh, the roots of the different polynomials. And for the, uh, the degree three, you get the, the one that's related to the, the Clausy fractal. But then the next step is like matching it, and then I'm joining these two roots together, and that's like having just a branch path in there. So you got uh, keep like branching, and then uh, in this case, I'm just like showing the ones that are giving me some solution that goes to the boundary. And like for like uh, if you remove for example some terms when you put zero as coefficients, you you can have like uh, other other families. In this case, I'm going to do the coefficient uh, two, and then from here, uh, that's uh, like a other green dot. You uh, actually go down, and then you also get uh, to the boundary with a shape like that, and this corresponds to this red uh, part. So I'm, I'm having separated families for each one depending on the, on the way they, they are framing in, in the node-to-node tranquility. And uh, that's for the red part. So you start to, like overlapping all these structures and then you end up with that map for the tranquility. So that's uh, why I think it's a better way to look at the interior part of these uh, sets. Uh, we'll have that some was well, well aware with the relation with the Salsimov sets and the map he was defining, the, the master key point. That's now cool. And another tool that you can do uh, with the sample elements in the boundary is, uh, for example, if in this case you have uh, just out pieces and you have like two pair of relations. So you can like take one relation uh, and this, this tip to tip uh, equivalent relation is going to give you a family, and for the lower part it's going to give you a different family. And that's uh, for the gap part, part. And that's like the parameter space where your family is defined. You can see that you have overlaps, but at least there is one connectivity condition in there. So this is like the, the parameter Z. And the other branch is going to go around this other expression. So, uh, and then for the lower part, you have another family of this branch. So you can think about these uh, two families uh, having some uh, elements in common. And in this case, we have one element that's in there. That's uh, the one I was uh, showing at the beginning as an example from the boundary. But then you can also find uh, that there is another example that actually have this condition. And actually, it's giving you a similar set that's still in the plane. It's, uh, it's a kind of like a housing thing. So I will stop here. Thank you very much. And I would also like to thank the organizers and especially Joseph that's conducting me and inviting me here. Yeah, so thank you. Is there any questions? I have a poster uh, back the, the, there where you have uh, the family uh, was showing at the beginning, uh, but you also have some like three printed models from them, and it was also like uh, stacking like these two the uh, like fractals uh, around this boundary, and these are in the table that's close to the poster piece. But, uh, you can see it. Yeah. Any 
and stuff. So what what is the meaning of this movement, this motion that we saw? Like the motion, like the the the, the, the one in the green, or um, I don't know. We were showing, for example, one one with the gas jet, but the other time it was just yeah. So it was like a like taking different route, taking a tour, like you know, like like the these maps uh, in black. Like the lambda values, uh, the different lambda values, or yeah, yeah uh, this is like uh, they are related to one another. They are related in the sense that instead of looking at uh, a branch paths, uh, branch paths that like, go to zero, you're looking at other branch paths that goes to another point. And for example, the Sapinski triangle, the uh, zero is there and one is in the middle. So actually, this is like uh, it's white, as you see here. But uh, instead of like looking at zero, you, you move at one half. Then the Sapinski triangle is going to be uh, in the middle, in there. So you're going to have uh, little, like a different map, and the Sapinski triangle is going to be black. This is going to be two in white. And actually, it's uh, looking at it's very similar to, to that. Let me see if I. But it's also like a. Uh, well, I just, I'm just going to skip it. That, but the, the, the complex these are giving you regular partitions, so the similar sets. Uh, yeah, it's at uh, ISAM, I was at ISAM this semester at Brown University. And uh, that's like the, the tree that I was showing you from the this degree three polynomial, where you can see that actually you have this no to not connectivity. So uh, it's actually it's meaningful to have this tree structure for the study that's also one sets. And that's the way I was constructing the, the different groups up to degree 15. I'm just like trying to find a, a map that has so, yeah, that, that's like the one that has been studied uh, for the past uh, 50 years or 55 already. And here, in, like showing different body for the, the different uh, words that go to zero, just for the. And then you can also play with uh, like uh, families like Z and then minus Z, and then you get this family. And that's the one I was studying before. Because these are like binary, symmetric, this. Um, and that's like another family, but uh, that's most for the biggest conference this summer. And this one looks more like the like, uh, like the pen like uh, trees. And, and these are like several samples where they are proportionally homeomorphic to each other. And that's uh, some elements for the boundary of the, the unstable trees. And inside is uh, all the stable. And it's interesting because some landmark points in there are actually telling you some uh, uh, interesting uh, elements uh, that are included by also roots of uh, polynomials. This is for the degree seven, but then if you move like uh, this uh, uh, leaf is going to be moving up, uh, up when you have this other encoding uh, degree nine. So that happens for the uh, my points in there. That's like uh, going to work. Uh, yeah, sorry. So like, yeah, this is like. Uh, well, you can like you can find this, but I, I'm trying like to find um, yeah. maybe I have time still or um, no, it's, I guess not really. Now. It's just over right now, yeah. but um, yeah. So the, that's like a landing at the boundary, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, so we can switch to your presentation. No, yeah, actually. Uh, I was trying to find it. So the, when you get the one half, the, it is lambda one half. And oops. so you can see that actually when you zoom in these two parts, you're gonna find the uh, synthetically it looks like the 